all right so welcome back so now in this video i'm going to go back to my back end and install and set up the gallery because now we have to register the user and we have to also upload the image on gallery okay so I simply first of all i have to install it so simply go to my second terminal and go to back and in the root folder i'm going to install npmi cloudinary so install the cloudinary all right so if it is installed successfully so i simply go to my front end and the app.js i have to bring in the cons first of all i have also set up the body parser because we require body parser and let's also conf cloudinary equals to required cloudinary and after the cookie parser i also have to set the body parser here so app dot use the body parser dot url encoded and in that i should type an extended to true like this all right now let's set up our cloud right? so setting up Cloudinary config. So Cloudinary dot config and the config we have to pass in the cloud our cloud name, then API key, then API secret. Alright. So I simply go to my con uh, config config.eml file and I simply if I go to my Chrome, you can see that I am logged in into my Cloudinary account. So you can simply uh, just register on their website and this is your dashboard when you can go to the dashboard you will see your cloud name which is shop it okay and this is your api key this is your api secret and i have already uploaded some images you can see that here in the, um, the testing so after signing up you have you get these things from here so we have to first of all set up the cloud name so go back to my here let's side here Cloudinary Cloud Name Then Cloudinary uh, API key Then Cloudinary API Secret So first of all the cloud name is shop it and then this is the api key and then for the secret i simply copy it and paste it right here okay so i simply close this config file and here we have first of all set the cloud name cloud underscore name that is process dot env dot underscore cloud ready cloud name okay and then we have the api key that is process dot env dot cloud ready api underscore key and then we have the API secret that is process env cloudinary api secret so we save it and we are done in our app.js so now simply go to our controllers of controller and now the registration part here uh, I, am I am pulling here my name email and password and also i have to pull out the uh, avatar so i simply type here cons cons result equals to await and we also have to um, bring in the cloud name. so cons cloud equals to require 
require any cloud nary. Okay, so await cloud nary dot version two. So cloud nary v two dot uploader. Okay, so in the uploader we have one method that is called upload. Okay, in the upload we have to first of all pass in the file that we want to upload. So that will be request dot body dot avatar that we will send from this file end. And then we have to pass in some options. So first of all, what is the folder as I want to upload the images? So that is the avatars. Make sure that you create this folder. So go back and in the media library, you will see that I have two folders, avatars and products. You can simply uh, click on this to create new folder. Okay, so avatars. So follow is avatar. Then also I have to define the width of the image. Let's type here 150 and let's give it here a value that is crop scale. So what does this crop scale do is we, I have only specified the width and I'm not going to specify the height. So when I type a crop scale, it is automatically going to the set the aspect ratio of the image. All right. So that's why we don't have to keep the height. So now simply in the cloud we are using the uploader dot upload. We are passing another file. The folder which is this one with scrop and we will save all the result in our result variable and now we can simply go here inside of this public id i can put here the result dot public id and inside of url i can put here the result dot secure url okay one is url and one is secure url secure url contains https protocol so i want to save the uh, this secure url all right so now we are done our backend we have successfully added the cloud ready on our backend now in my next video i will create my register component i will create the user and save that in the database from the front end all right so i will see you in the next video